my channel so today I have a haul from the works for you I went in just before I went away and then I was in there last week and so you can still find all of these things available and also do remember that the works is also available online so anything that you don't see in store be sure to check online and see if you can grab it there and often there are major discounts to be had online too I wanted to film the Easter rain but there was um, like a group of school children in there so it was quite noisy so I couldn't film that for you but I picked up a few just three items from their Easter range and the first thing was this really cute Easter bonnet but it's only a pound they had these in this version with the bow in pink yellow and blue which were equally pretty and then they cowboy style one which was just a straw hat looking one if that makes sense, um, just a neutral colour. My daughter and I are going to have fun um, decorating this. Um, if you want to see it on the channel, do pop a comment down below and I'll be happy to do that for you. So yeah, that's the first thing. Um, as this is already open, let me just go ahead and show you these. So the packet, that's the top, it's, it's just a free pack of, um, it's called a bunny garland. And inside are these cute cute bunnies made of MDF and they have like a felt I think it's felt yeah like a felt heart and then another wooden heart that they've kind of embellished and then it comes with the string and some beads I guess we just string them on so I thought they were really sweet so grab those for a pound too and then lastly was this make your own Easter bunting I just thought the characters on it were super adorable. I love this um, rabbit with the um, bow tie and then the chick hair with the glasses and a tie, super cute. So they're just made out of card and it has like the bunny tails and things that you can stick on and obviously the ribbon. So yeah, just bought that for my daughter so she can get stuck in doing that over Easter. I then grabbed some wooden craft spoons I've not seen these before you get 10 in a pack for these and I just really like them I don't have a DIY in mind it's more actually for my friend because she does um, we're gonna be doing a craft fair again in the summer and she makes gorgeous um, shea butter mixes and I thought these would be perfect for people to just like test her shea butter with and so yeah for any people that have like skincare like that I think these will be really good for like bath salts and creams and things like that so they're only a pound and then I then saw these look at the color of these guys aren't they beautiful they're kind of it's um yeah it's showing true to color it's like a turquoisey aqua color and then it has like an iridescent kind of thing going on if I bring it in close can you see how it's picking up kind of the pinky yeah just beautiful get 70 in a pack which I thought was great and then a really nice size that like you can see for a pound each you can't go wrong I didn't see I don't think there was another color of these then they have the um, standard pearls which are just the white pearls um, and then these but I just thought these are a little bit different and yeah I've got a DIY in mind for these Next to those were these gorgeous gems. You know I love my bling. Come on, how could I leave these? So these are a mix of um, the clear, the pink, the purple, and that gorgeous blue again. Just love these. And I love the sizes. I've not seen any like these before. But they also had these in, um, I believe it was an all pink version or a multicolored one. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on it but i just love these because that purple and the blues just really grabbed my eye so again I've barely got an idea of what i'm going to do with these but you know me i put bling on any and everything so you will see these look at how gorgeous these are so this is a two pack of butterfly decorations as you can see it's two pounds but i just i love that a pound each you can't go wrong so just look at the detail on these oh they remind me of when you blow bubbles and you have that iridescent bubble color in the light. Just love these. So they have like a little um, crocodile clip 
on the back and yeah I just thought these were super 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 pretty so many uses for them they could be put in so many things I don't have an idea for them but they just couldn't stay on the shelf they were just too pretty so yeah love those Speaking of butterflies, I then spotted these. These are make your own 3D butterflies. I just absolutely love all the colors in there, the pinks, the purples, gold, blues. I love it. And on the back, it shows you, you get 33 butterflies in all these different shapes and patterns. It shows you how you have to um, fold them in order for them to be 3D. Um, and on the front head, if you can see, I'm thinking about doing either this DIY here, which is they're kind of in like a glass jar or are they called clo cloches, I think. It actually had one in there. I think it was five pounds. So it had this kind of um, container and it had a pack of butterflies that you could make that whole thing. And I only saw that after I bought these, but I have an idea for these anyway. So yeah i just picked those up they also had these in a blue gorgeous blues and greens combination and then also a kind of neutral like the browns and um beige kind of color but the pink and purples really stood out to me so i grabbed those two packs of the crystal alphabet stickers you get 27 i love these whenever i get anything alphabet related i always get two packs because I don't want to run out of letters, you know, um, sometimes, like this one, it will have two A's, but it only has one L, one M, is that right? Yeah. And so, yeah, if you've got a, a name that needs, you know, requires two L's, like Lily, for instance, you're going to need that. So I've got two of these. They also had these in this smaller version for one pound a packet. I'm kicking myself. I wish I'd picked them up because these are going to just fly. These are so nice to just, you know, embellish all your different DIYs and crafts. Look out for these. They're just great value. I haven't seen these cheaper anywhere else. If you have, let me know though. Last out of the stationary kind of side of things were these free pack of liquid chalk pens. I actually wanted these last year and couldn't find them anywhere. I didn't know the works did them. And so you get a blue, a pink and a white. Um, I haven't tested them yet, but I will test them out and let you know how they are. And then lastly, I have some books and the first the first four are scrapbooks. Um, absolutely love the works and their design sheets, their design pads, you cannot go wrong. All of these are a pound each. So let's have a quick flick through because I just, I love the patterns in these. So this one's called Silky Roses. You get 30 sheets and there are three, um, there are 10 designs, three of each design. And so we have this one first, beautiful florals, kind of plain one there. So let me hold it up better. A kind of beautiful marbly kind of effect there. Beautiful florals, almost looks like um, watercolor on that one. This one as well, floral. These are scream spring. So I just, that's the reason why I picked them up. Beautiful. Apologies if you can hear a little man in the background. This one is stunning. Almost kind of abstract, 3D kind of rose thing going on. Love it. And then the single rose petals. How pretty and delicate is that? Stunning. And then this one is a kind of, again, that marble kind of pastel -y effect there. Wash over the paper. Love that. The next one we have is Vintage Elegance. These are kind of a really dark, kind of deep, inky kind of um, florals. Just something really beautiful about them. I love this kind of, it's not black and white. It's actually, it looks almost really dark brown, inky brown, just gorgeous. This one is like a crumpled paper effect that's been maybe tea stained, love it. Gray one there black and white floral another kind of stripe effect one with the aged paper beautiful this one's lovely dainty florals against the brown really neutral one absolutely love this gray polka dot polka dots are super on trend for spring summer they're not going anywhere 
another kind of dainty floor with the scrolls and then lastly is this one beautiful this one's called wild flowers stripes i've not seen um this one like a vertical stripe i want to say before so it's quite pleased to see that beautiful roses there how stunning is the detail on these just beautiful nice kind of wood grain effect one polka dots again in that gorgeous kind of it's almost peachy beautiful this one is just oh, look at this those peacock feather feathers i can see like diamantes in the middle of those and maybe glitter oh just love it those are these called are they crocuses i don't know my flowers why am i even trying <laughs> another dainty print there that one oh they're just lovely and then this one again a kind of abstract and i love that you can mix and match and kind of go crazy with them i have a few ideas that i have in mind for these so look out for these you will see these and this last one's called vintage love and like i said i haven't done much vintage on my channel so i really want to explore that polka dots again and bring some vintage chic to the channel look at this one absolutely stunning it almost looks like it's textured like it could be velvet to the touch so beautiful hope i'm not missing one note then this one i think those are peonies beautiful dainty little pretty one there this inky dark kind of oh, it's just something really um atmospheric about that one it's beautiful love that color this one is really pretty as well again i love how these ones have got like more abstract prints going on love it love those stripes with the teal blue oh gorgeous and then the last one is this kind of abstract um kind of print but oh i just i can't wait to work with those okay and then the last but not least i love books if, if anyone knows me they know i am an absolute bookworm and the works have the best value for money when it comes to books and so the first one up top is this one called five minutes in the morning and it's um a focus journal and i just i just loved it i always kind of have a flick through to see you know whether something draws my attention so this one says focus on abundance and it just has um, little sayings and quotes and things. It just allow, it's almost like a workbook as well as a journal. So you can write your thoughts down on what these different topics are and then work, work actually on the page or get a separate paper. I don't, I'm funny about that. Is anyone else like that? I have a book and I just, I, I feel like I'm defacing it if I write in it. So I always have like a separate notebook. Is that just me? Is anyone else like that? <laughs> but there are, you know, there's, there's pay, um, spaces where you can write your thoughts and things. So this one is what is stopping you? Mental blocks hold us back from doing the things that we really want to do. Replacing I know I can't with perhaps I can is one way of clearing the blocks and allowing the positive energy to flow. So it then just, you know, gives you um, things to do. Write down five things that you think you can't do along with the reasons why. So I'm kind of loving um, all these kind of books. I like books that you can, you know, you don't just read and you just put it down and forget. Ones that you can actually work through and process your thoughts. I'm really starting to like. And if you want me to go through this, you know, a little bit on the channel, let me know. I want to start introducing a bit more things to the channel. So let me know. So this one is How to Be Confident. This is by um, author Anne, Anna Barnes. This was £3. Sorry if I didn't see that. That one was £4 there. Recommended retail price of this one is 9 99 and sorry, that one was $12.99 recommended retail price. So you can't beat the works for bargains. What I loved about this is all the illustrations. It has phrases, quotes in it. Believe in yourself there on that side. Wear your favorite aftershave or perfume. First say to yourself what you would be and then do what you have to do. The butterflies there. 
I just love this. I love any books that kind of, you know, that says colour me happy. I just love, and, and I also get inspiration from books like this that are filled with colour, pictures, you know, motivational quotes, as well as like really good facts and things. I could see something go, ooh, that's inspiration for another, you know, DIY and stuff like that. So I just love these. There were a few other ones in this range. I can't remember the names of them. So I think one was How To Be Happy, things like that. I think there was about five in that range. But this one just spoke to me with all these quotes and beautiful images. Um, and so that's that one. And then the last two are actually for um, my bestie. So she's into skincare and things like that. And like I said, she makes her own shea butter mixes and creams and hair ointments and stuff. And so when I saw these, I thought they'd be perfect. And for a pound, a pound, you cannot go wrong. So this one is scented soap. And in it is literally those beautiful illustrations and recipes, as it were, and instructions on how to make these various different soaps. So I knew that she wanted to get into this. So here's like oils and butters that are good to use, herbs and botanicals. So I knew she was into this and I thought she would appreciate that. So that's that one. And then this one is called Bath Bombs. Simply, it shows you how to make beautiful bath bombs. Um, again, I just love the illustrations. They've kept them um, instructions really simple. Oh, look, these look like the ones Poundland have in at the minute, don't they, with the petals. And so, yeah, these make perfect little presents as well. If you know someone that loves books, but also likes the aspect, you know, of health and skincare or anything like that, these are just perfect to just, as add-on gifts, a pound, you cannot go wrong. And so that is the last of my haul from the works. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to give it a big fat thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, loves.